You know, there, there's one that everybody talks about, the Green Revolution. It really was a revolution. I mean, it, it, it lifted, it, it ended starvation in large parts of the world. And that, that, that was a breakthrough in technology, in, in seeds that uh, succeeded. I think the oral rehydration technique was another one which really helped people, uh, n particularly children, not die from diarrhea in, by the millions. So there are such breakthroughs and there will be uh, others in the future and technology in some ways is development. One, one almost has to say that the two go together and in fact in, in, in the advanced countries in Great Britain, in the US, it was technology that allowed all this prosperity to grow. Technology has to have institutions that back it. Just the knowledge by itself, the existence of the knowledge isn't enough. You must have the institutions, the social fabric, the communities, the governance to scale it, scale it up and to, to make a society t take advantage of it and benefit from it. And that, that is very hard. I think there's a lot of risk in new technologies, in people don't know how large the market will be, what exactly will work. So the public sector can be the initiator in a sense, not of the technology, not of the knowledge, but of the financing. It, take, it can, for example, take the risk of the first loss. It can uh, give some guarantees. It can share some of the risk with the private sector. And I think that's probably the best role it can play.